Today we are going to make a succulent planter thing. <laughs> So a few years ago when I picked up a pallet, most pallets are going to be stuff like this, like really lightweight pine, but occasionally you'll find cool pieces like this. It's like zebra wood or something. I don't have a whole lot. I think I'm going to make like a little rectangular thing with maybe like a live edge on the top. I wanted to do a little research. I'm really bad at keeping plants alive, and I know Evan and Caitlin made a planter where they make it self-watering. I reached out to them to make sure it was cool if I used the same idea in my video, and they're wonderful people, so they said it was fine. Definitely check out Evan and Caitlin's channel if you haven't already. All right, with the research done, I did a couple of passes on the planer to flatten them out a little bit, and there was a rough edge that I just cleaned up on the jointer. And I'm working with limited materials, so I'm going to pick up the cacti and make sure they're the correct size before I move on. Chrysula. Firestorm. Pretty badass. Uh, nope, no idea. I'm cutting the boards to length on my crosscut sled, and then I'm going to use box joints or finger joints to join these together. You can use butt joints or miters though, whatever you think looks good. I'll do a separate video on how to make a box joint sled, which I think is the quickest, easiest way to make your projects look do. For the bottom, I just took another piece of pallet wood and thinned it out with the planer, and then I fit that into a dado that I cut into the bottom inside corner of the box. I did a dry assembly just to make sure everything looks good, and it does. So now we can glue it up. While we're waiting for this to dry, we can get started on the bottom. Essentially just doing the exact same thing, just making a smaller, shallower box. This is gonna act as the reservoir for the water to sit in. Okay, back to the first box. We can cut off the excess finger jointage. I'm also gonna route a little bit of a dado around the bottom side of the box so that it kind of snaps into the bottom of the reservoir. And then we're just gonna sand it up to 220 grit. As you'd expect, this pallet wood, not perfect, some holes in it. So we're gonna just fill that up. I'm putting some tape on the inside and then I'm gonna fill it with some glue mixed with a little bit of sand, uh, you know, dust stuff left over from before when I sanded it. With the planter and the reservoir finished, we can drill a couple of holes in the bottom of the planter, just big enough to thread through a polyester rope. I'm using polyester rope so it won't degrade over time, although I don't really know what I'm doing, so. Anyway, before we thread the rope through, we're going to need to waterproof the inside of this planter. I'm using a two-part epoxy that's used on boats, so I figured that's probably sufficient. I tried painting it on with a foam brush, but it was way too viscous for that, so I ended up just kind of wiping it on with my hands, messily. For the reservoir, I used several coats of super glue because I ran out of the two-part epoxy. Would not recommend. Using this stuff called Rapid Fuse, like, it is killing my eyes. It's doing this to the, to the brush that I'm using. I saw that and I was like, this can't be good. Make sure you use goggles, because I'm dying right now. this rock tumbler at a thrift store and I thought I'd be super cool and tumble my own rocks for this project. I went out to find some rocks. What's up kitty? I even smashed them myself. Some of them ended up looking pretty cool but unfortunately tumbling rocks takes a billion years. Coarse grit cycle takes 10 to 12 days depending on the type of stones. Good god. All right 10 to 12 days. Well, 
Um, so in the interest of time, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use these aquarium stones that I found in my attic. And with that, we are all done. And by the way, I made this way more complicated than it actually needs to be. You could easily just glue together four boards and get more or less the same result. In a few weeks, I'll post an update for this project on my Instagram account. Hopefully these are still alive then. As always, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you spending your time on my channel. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and I'll be back next Friday with another video. Oh, and I will be at Spring Make this year. It's going to be in Cleveland, Ohio from April 25th through the 27th. Hope to see you guys there. I was at Home Depot and I saw some succulents and I'm gonna try to make something to put them in.